Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for your time. Thank you for signing up for our session on how property video is uh, changing the new trend in the real estate market. So in this webinar, I'm going to share with you about how uh, real estate agents are now using video to uh, promote the property, right? So let's get started. Okay, so my name is Wei Yong. I'm the co-founder of Estate123. So in today's session, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to share um, a lot about all this um, video marketing. And at the end of the session, I will show you how you can actually utilize uh, the videos that you have in Estate123 uh, website. All right, so I believe these are some of the methods that you use to share uh, property with uh, your prospects or when you send um, any promotional properties, right? So do you think this method will get a lot of attention? So we know that most of the recipients that they receive this message, sometimes if they really look into the property, they might go a bit detailed and browse through the uh, PDF brochures or maybe the photos that you send. But most of the time, there will be uh, users that will actually ignore the message. If let's say we just uh, send to them uh, without informing them that we are uh, sending them these details. Okay, so and then also there are times when uh, the prospects, they, when they receive this kind of message, they will actually um, set the, the message to, to spam. So they will actually impact us as the person that is sending the message. Okay. So why is uh, video marketing is so effective nowadays? And from the research that we see, 80% of customers uh, in last year, actually, they like to see products uh, in action through videos. So if you see um, like any products that is uh, people selling now, they will prefer looking at the video, how useful is the product, right? So same goes to property. So you just imagine it this way. Would you rather look at an article, read through an article to see how you can cook a steak? Or do you rather watch a video that shows you how you can cook the stick? Right. So same goes to real estate property. A prospect will actually they prefer watching a video for from you where you are explaining to them about the property. So imagine just now like the message that I show you, you send in a lot of details about that property with, uh, with what is the features of the property, and then you send them the photo of the nice property. But if you send them a video, they just need to turn on the video, let it play, and then see you explaining the details to them. Do you think that will be more, more useful and more helpful for them? Right. So video now is the must. So it is really here to stay. So previously we can say it's like um, video is uh, something like a complimentary, right? But in today's world where more and more people are using video to, to, to sell a product, even real estate, we are going to consider that. So whether it is a product or it is a, even a car or real, property, real estate property, video has now become a norm. So why do we say so? Because people are now using the online to do research, right? Previously, when anyone wants to search for property, they will go to Google and search for property. But now in a new trend or the new norm, people will actually go to YouTube and search for a property because they would like to see an agent explaining to them about a property instead of them going to a website, a very long detail they have to go through very, uh, very long. Right. So this is just one example um, from overseas in, in, in Canada. Actually, this particular agent, what he did is he created a music video for about three minutes. It's a bit long, but in this three minutes, actually, it's very interesting because what he do is he explains a lot of details about the property, and then he show videos about the, um, the, the, the inside the property, right? So what happened is after he did this video, he created a lot more video because from this property itself, he managed to sell the property solely uh, shortly after the video was released because the video went viral very fast. And from the video, I, I can share to you the link to this video after this session. So from the video, what he do is when he started the video, he talked about how a regular buyer need when they are looking for a property. And then he talked about the location. 
and then the features of the property and he also covers about who is a developer and the area how well it will grow and end of the video he actually have a promotion a promo he tell the viewer if you visit my website and you can find a cat inside the uh, a 360 video right then they will give you a discount so this is the type of things that uh, some agents they can do to attract people to actually watch the video and also to add, um, go even with further detail to see the the, the the property. And then back in Asia, in Singapore, we have this agent called Richard Tan. So what he did is he also created a music video, but for him, he used a parody. So parody is something that you pick a very popular song and then you change it into your own lyrics. So for this guy, he used the uh, Marry Me song by Julin and uh, David Tao. And actually this property, when he did this, a lot of views came in, okay? And what happened is, he was quite popular in the, in the Singapore newspaper already. And what happened is, the, uh, the, that particular flat was sold within five days after his parody. And this parody actually goes, when it goes online, he hit 45,000 view before the property is sold. So for a property to have 45,000 view and then it is sold, I can say it's actually very fast. Okay. So when we talk about the types of video that you can create, actually there are many, many ways, but for real estate, these are some of the uh, video style that you can consider. Is the, um, whether you want to do picture only, a video walkthrough, explainer, fun type like the one that I uh, explained earlier, or a testimonial, right? So how this all looks like. For picture only, if we look at the, the this uh, sample here, okay, let me try to play this. Okay, so for picture only, this is the easiest way to do a video because what you need to do is you just need to capture all the photos of the of the property that you want to put put up but you need to plan like which are the areas that you want to snap and make sure that the photo that you snap is very attractive and make sure you clean up uh, the, the area or the property before you do the photo snap all right then you compile together all this photo put it into the into the video editing app from actually from the mobile nowadays there's a lot of um, all those mobile uh, video editor that you can use which is very very easy to use so this is something that you can consider, okay? Then you put it into a very short video like this. So something that you target between 30 to 60 seconds or something like one minute, right? Okay, the next one is a video walkthrough. So this one is, it will be a bit detailed. You will spend a bit more time to do because this kind of, um, how to say, this kind of video, you have to really plan a lot of things that you want to put in the video and you have to plan how you want to capture the, the unique feature of the property so that you can display it into this, like, uh, into your video, right? So you can show like from outside of the property, how it look like, and then when you go inside the kitchen, how it look like, and then when you go into detail to the living room, to the rooms, so this is all the things that you can do if you use a walkthrough video method. Okay. The next one is the explainer video, right? Explainer video is something that is uh, much more easier. To, uh, how, how to say? Um, I can say it's like the explainer video is you can do it like how you are doing it when you have um, a client that is coming to your site to do the uh, viewing. Because normally when, when you have an uh, agent, uh, have a customer coming to your site and then you will explain to them about the property, right? So this kind of explainer video is how you're going to do the video. You have one more agent or one more friend helping you to do the video capturing. So as you walk and explain, then another person will be holding the camera. So imagine if like now um, during this kind of uh, situation, a lot of people will try to avoid going to site visit for now. So if let's say you have this kind of uh, video, right, you can actually share it to all your prospects, which I feel like is something that can help you to promote the property even easier. So what you do now is you just do this recording one time, 
and after that you will be using this same video and share to so many people so imagine previously you have to arrange for um, a, a site visit right a uh, site viewing so every time one person come and visit the property you have to spend time to explain what is the features if you explain everything again so now imagine you do it one time and you are using this same video you can share with anyone that you want to try to target this property to so don't you think this, this is the method that you want to try okay then um the fun video is the one that i shared earlier where the agent from singapore this guy he actually do a parody and from uh, canada the this man called uh, Bessinski, he did a rap song so if let's say you are not into the creative you can think of other creative way that you want to use to promote the property right and testi <clears throat> sorry and testimonial this one is also another method so far when we try to check on how people are doing it so far only other countries there are people using this method to give or i can say to explain about this particular agent testimonial is something that you can use when you want to convince your prospect it's like you are the agent that they should use to help them to find the property or to sell the property because this is the way that if you have imagine you have a lot of clients that are really very happy with your service and now you have a video like this you can share with all your prospects and tell them that you know i have so many happy clients so do you want to be one of it so so you just see how useful this kind of video right so for this kind of video all you need to do is you need to write down the questions of all the important points that you want your other prospect to know like how happy uh, is the customer when dealing with you how informative are you these are the type of questions that you can try to use to ask to your existing customer to help you to record this kind of video and when you share it so you can you can have more people to know about this like you see this one how how you see your value the value in this agent so they have all this uh, customer explaining or talking about why they are happy with you right so when we come into this one life example this one is what i want to show is mainly in uh, malaysia we do have some agents that are already using uh, youtube to create their own channel so if you are already on youtube then that's good but if let's say you are not on youtube yet or you haven't started any video yet then i think it's, it's the time best time that you start to do that because from what we see there are agents that only started doing these videos one year ago where when they start uh, mco and some even started or uh, two years ago only so it's still i can say it's still very new and if you are going to start now then it's still very good time to start as an agent because later after this let me just show you how um, normally someone that wants to search for property right if they go into youtube how they search for the property and chances of you to be listed in the youtube search result is higher compared to if using the google because if you imagine now using the normal search engine any keyword you type it will be other websites that is listed out so this is one of the agents that is uh, using that, that he have his own channel already and he already have about 33,000 subscribers and from the videos that he have so this is just some of the videos that is that we can see from the main page so from the videos that he have if he, he have certain property that he want to sell imagine you just create one video and this is the video that you can use to send it to all your other prospects then we have another agent here so this this guy um also i think he started about one or two years ago and he already have about 2000 subscribers so if you have subscribers that is uh following you in the youtube channel the good thing is if they subscribe to you and they follow you any new posting that you have actually they will be notified right then this uh this guy here he from the video that we see, he actually sell um, quite high-end properties, like all that, that those properties that is about you know four five million above. Right? So some property you see this one is about eleven million. So if you can check him out, you should see how he do the video because he will explain in detail what is the property, why is it worth this much, what is the selling point. Right. 
So benefits of uh, making a video marketing, right? So these are the four main points that we want to share. If you have your video marketing, like you have your own channel, you can differentiate yourself from other competitors because now there are still a lot of agents haven't started doing a page like this yet. They haven't have their own channels. So by having your own channels or having your videos, you can differentiate yourself from all your other competitors. You can improve your brand recall also. So this, the brand recall is like, what I mean here is more like if someone they think of a certain property or certain, then they'll remember you. Like just now the guy uh, from Singapore, so he sell that particular property, right? If someone remember that property, then he'll remember, oh, this is the guy that I should look for, right? So this is how the videos can actually improve your brand recall. Improve messages or email click through, this is more to um, how we want to and, uh, improve the people that is viewing our messages. Like, like the first slide that I showed just now about WhatsApp, when people um, receive our message, if we send them a video link to our channel, we will get the click through. The click through means it's like something that the people that click and view is higher compared to one message that comes in and then got a lot of wordings and a lot of photos. And finally, we can build the brand trust because if you look through just now all the video styles that we do, right? If you have some combination of some of the different uh, video style, including the testimonial, actually it can build a, a trust from the viewer because a viewer that goes to your channel and then they see you got so many videos and you are so knowledgeable it actually they will actually trust you as the agent that is uh, providing the the service to them so actually from what we see here is if you do a lot of um, video for your channels you keep on consistently doing that right it actually helps you in building the trust from your prospects right so now from what I shared earlier, what is the next thing that you should consider, right? So start with creating your own YouTube channel first. So even if you don't have anything yet, it's okay. Start a blank channel first and then slowly plan what is the videos that you want to do. Pick, pick from a property which you haven't uh, haven't sold or property that you just received and you still have a lot of information that you want to share out try with that first try creating one video right to to share in the channel once you have the video in the channel then slowly you have more ideas to to come up with that and another thing is once you have the video in the youtube right you can actually use this video put it in all other sites like facebook or Instagram or even WhatsApp or or you know other any channels or any any website that you're using, including SA123. Right. Start recording video using your phone because now this is oh sorry, think of the target market of the property or the video type that you want to do. For this second point, what, what I mean here is if you are um, if you have a property which is about, uh, let's say it's a bungalow, uh, four to five million value. So the type of video that you want to do, what is the style that you want to consider? So do consider who is your target market and what kind of video you want to create for that, right? Because based on the, the, the way that we promote the property, also we have to see uh, who is the target market, right? And all these things that you want to do, very first is start recording using your phone. Because now, nowadays, uh, most of our phone, the features is also is quite powerful already. So we can also do very uh, basic video shooting, uh, including recording our sound, right? So you can you can start by doing that using the phone. I'm sure uh, sometimes we try to do a recording ourselves, right? We will, we will feel uncomfortable because when we listen back to our own video, our own voice, we will feel it's like it's not it's not good enough. But never mind, just start doing that, and then we will get used to it, and then we will get better in that, right? Um, okay, this one get a good gimbal stabilizer. This one is something like those, uh, you know, pre because previously um, most people will be using a selfie stick or some will just use a hand to hold the, the phone to do the recording, right? Now, nowadays, uh, this 
the gimbal stabilizer is something like a, a something that selfie stick, but it can actually stabilize even when you walk, when you move, right? It can it it will shoot very stable um a video. So the the phone that you hang on this stabilizer as you move, it will not it, it, the video that you take it will not be very shaky. Um, from the last I checked, is previously they have those uh, gimbal which is about 200, 300 ringgit, right? Now we can even get those uh, considered quite okay type at about 80, 70 to 80 ringgit only. And lastly, is on the software to use. So now you already capture all your videos, snap all the photos nicely. The next thing is what is the software that we want to use from our mobile phone to do the compilation, right? So the one that I have been using is uh, this software called InShot. So the free version is still okay, quite quite useful because you can still uh, compile the the video and you can still use it. It's the the only limitation is uh, for the free one is like they they have their logo at the bottom, and also um, if you want to I think you do more things then there are certain things that is a uh, lock already. Yeah, but for the basic video editing, you can try consider use this app called InShot. Right. So once you started with all this, you have your video already uploaded in YouTube. So in Estate One Two Three, how can you benefit from that? When you create the property in in our website, in the part where you upload the media, the the um, photos, right? If you scroll down a bit, you will see we have this uh, YouTube video, and there's three links that you can add. Right. For these three links. You just go back to your video once you have uploaded it in YouTube already. You just go back to the video in the YouTube, copy the URL, and then you just paste it on top here. Okay, you just paste it on on the website here. So if you have three, just put all three. But if you have one, you just put one. So once you put this and save, once the posting approved, right? How it will look like in our website is when you scroll down from the property. Normally, you will see the photo on top, right? So as the user, you just scroll down the page, you will see we have all these video shows directly outside here, right? And how do we um, advise the type of video that you want to put into this website? It's basically you put three three uh, videos. The first one, you will normally put a video that talk about the area. So this video you can do once and you can use it for all the property that is covering the area that you are you're sharing. The second is if let's say you have um, maybe let's say a, a drone a drone shot of the location or the area right you can actually share that as well. After this, let me just show you the page how it look like. Okay, and then the third video will be the video where you explain about this property. So you walk around, record the video with, with you explaining and put it there. So with these three videos show out prominently in our website, we believe that it will actually help help you in uh, promoting your property to your prospect as well, right? Okay, so let me now um, go to the our site. I will just want to show you how we look like in the page. Okay, let me uh, load my browser here. Okay, so this is the sample website that uh, we show, I showed you earlier. So if this property that you posted, you already have uh, the video already shared in our site when you do the posting. First, we have the photo with all the property details, right? You scroll down, anyone that is viewing your property, they will see this uh, virtual tour video. So they can directly just click on this link here to view the video that that has been uh, posted by you. So if you have your, imagine you have your video explaining about this property, I just click on this video, you will look here, then I just play. Right, then you have, you, you have your video here explaining. Right. So don't you think if you have a property posting, with the photo, with the details, even with your uh, video of explaining, you will get a bit more attention compared to just the conventional way of posting a lot of photos and then 
sending uh, sending the URL or maybe sending all the details, the same details in the WhatsApp, right? Now you have this already. Then one way is one one next thing is you just can copy this property posting which is belongs to you, and this is where you will take this link and then send it to your prospect as well. It's, it's the same thing that that like how how I shared earlier where you can share a video to your prospect. So this one is you can share your property posting with all the videos that you already compiled in our page here. Right. And then uh, let me show you uh, earlier I mentioned about using the YouTube to search for property. Oh. Okay. So if let's say every, anyone now they are searching for any property, they will come to YouTube and what they will search for is they will have to type in, they will type in the property here, right? They will just come to YouTube and then they will type, let's say I want to look for Chendando. So depending on the video that you created, whether they have all these keywords or not, so the chances of your listing being displayed as the result in uh, in YouTube is also higher. So make sure that the property that you created this video, you have the keywords there as well. Like see this guy, if I type in Chandana Kondo, then I can see um, this video here. Right. And based on the YouTube algorithm, because if, if you are familiar with browsing or, or watching video in YouTube, sometimes you will see a lot of um, uh, those uh, speaker from the video, right? They will ask you to please like and share my video. It will help the algorithm. The reason why they want you to subscribe also, subscribe to their video, like their video, is because the, the higher the views on the page, the more likes on the page, the chances of their listing or their video to be listed higher in the Google's, the, the YouTube search result is also there. So like this case, I type in Chandana Kondo, this guy with about 7,000 7, views, his video is shown on top here first, then followed by this. It's done two months ago. So there, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, criteria that we need to consider in order to make sure that our listing is being shown in the, uh, the YouTube search result here. But also same thing is, even if your, you, your, um, video is having a lot of uh, views. Sometimes certain property uh, video or certain uh, search criteria, if the result matches a video that is in YouTube, because Google and YouTube, they are actually the same company, right? The property might be listed in Google as well in the video section. So let's say I search for the Chandana condo just now. If, the, if there's a lot of videos or the video matches the search criteria from uh, Google, right? Then they actually show the result in the video here as well. Like you see this, this uh, case here, we have search result as usual, the, the normal search result. This, those ads is uh, paid ads, right? These are the normal, the website that is listed. But if you have a video, if I scroll down here, you see we have this video here by this, uh, and in Joe Lim. So this property also is shown here. And then just now the guy, Chris Lee, his property uh, video also is displayed here. So now from what we see here is like, there are still not too many people using video to promote a property. So the chances of your video uh, being seen are still higher. So that's why uh, just now in the other slide, I say, try to start something simple first. Then from there you learn, um, how to improve on the video, how you want to put more information into your video. All right. Okay, so um, let's wrap up the session, uh, the sharing session for me for today. So if you have any questions, uh, you can hit it in in our question box. So if uh, no questions, then uh, we can end the session here. So I'll just give a uh, few seconds, see whether anyone have any questions to ask here. Oh, 
All right. Okay, so I think there's uh, no questions from the floor. Okay, so that's all we have uh, for today. Thanks for your time. Right, thanks for your time. So if you have any question, you can still uh, send it to us from our Facebook page because in our Facebook, we also um, have people sometimes sending questions to us and us. So thank you for your time again. See you again in our next session. We'll be organizing another session next week um, on Tuesday as well. So every Tuesday, we'll be having sessions to talk about technology uh, on real estate. So, uh, do check out our Facebook page for the link to register for the next session, right? Thanks for your time, everyone. Bye.